Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Two Beers, One Movie. I'm literally down a corner now. Hey, I'm down a corner, give me two seconds. Alright, snap, 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 snap. I'm looking at her. What's that say? Oh dear. It's a fucking joke, isn't it? I mean, it's her first week, so it's my responsibility. It's not a first week in any fucking kitchen, though, is it? And I have my Moretti, as always. Today we're going to be talking about uh, kind of a low-key film. I wouldn't say it's truly independent, but it's a, it's a really good low-key non-blockbuster film called Boiling Point. It is written and directed by Philip uh, Baranti. He made a short film with the same name, starring the same actor on the same situation uh, starring uh, Stephen Graham as Andy the head chef of a busy restaurant he obviously has a lot of uh, issues going on at the moment uh, he's drinking drugs um, I've seen some people call it this year's Uncut Gems and to a point I do, degree, uh, do agree with that it's really really uh, like it makes you claustrophobic at times the tension is really filled it's a it's a one take uh, one take film. The camera gives you different aspects of the uh, the restaurant life, and it it can get a bit up close and personal with Andy per se. And you can feel the claustrophobicness, just really grinding them down. You feel everything that's really taking place with him. He's making mistakes in work. Other staff members are covering for him. Um, but you also see the other side of the restaurant, just how busy it is. Yeah, I always knew it would be so crazy, just the insults that some of the, the staff are taking. So it gives you different aspects from the bar, from, from the waiters and waitresses, from uh, the main manager greeting people coming in, to just the, the cleaners and, and the dishwashers, all the way to the chefs. And Andy, he's making mistakes because he, he's drinking on walk through um, a sports water bottle. Sports water bottle. Um, he's obviously, he's taking phone calls. It's about his child. And in the midst of all this, there's obviously bits and bobs going on through the restaurant. Um, so it's visceral in terms of, you, like, it's like digging your nails in, into your back because you can feel it. You can feel his tension just boiling, and as obviously the, the, the ironic is called boiling point, where he is ready to tip over. There's little things happening just from 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 influencers coming in and saying they want steaks and good, good reviews, um, to just things going wrong from no nuts in a menu. Um, to then an ex uh, manager uh, like who was his protege uh, comes in and he's seated front and center with his guest um, and then it's revealed that he wants to basically come in and take over the restaurant with him because he's in debt going under obviously Andy's really against this there's an incidents that happen um, the the old kind of manager basically says you should blame blame his uh, side person Carly his other chef who basically has been covering for him this whole time and he mistakes and he he just crumbles and cracks he can't get rid of this girl because like she's been there for him she's been his, his rock behind any of his, his mistakes his alcoholism his drug use anything that's gone on in his life and because it's the one take you do really feel like you're just gradually being pulled into every scene and then there's a lot of up close shots and the, the steady the, the, sorry the shaky cam and you're feeling you can you can almost feel Andy and it's really well played boy boy Stephen Graham you can feel the tension just boiling inside and he's ready to explode and there's a moment at the end of it as well where it does tip boiling point it's a really re wonderfully written script as well and it's really engrossing and engaging and I think it's definitely one of the best films so far of 2022 I thoroughly enjoyed it and I definitely would recommend it so 
my my rating is going to be four beers out of five. Uh, I just thought it was absolutely fantastic. It was really tension filled. I can see why people would say it's this year uncut gems to a degree, and I really really enjoyed it. So please like, subscribe.